Dendrion. Um, I, I don't know what it is about this Dendrion, but I like it a lot. I, I, I'm not 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 for a purchase tomorrow, but I think by about Tuesday or Wednesday of this week, we're going to see something happen in here. And I, I checked to see if maybe there's a catalyst, and what I found out was they, they do have uh, in um, – uh, the company is is reporting or you know talking to investor biotech conferences both on uh, Wednesday, Tuesday and Wednesday of this week. Now you can see here the 10 day moving average about to cross up through the 50, the 50 flattening out, the 20 could cross up here in the next few days as well. Um, keep an eye on this one. This is more of we're stalking the idea. I'm considering maybe buying some call options. Haven't done so yet. I will let you know if I do. But probably really needs to clear this level near about 2420 or so. Um, you know, since this big move here, the stock has held up remarkably well. I think that anyone who wanted to get out probably has so far. And there's uh, a strong base of support for this stock now. And we still have about 8 million shares short. So uh, Dendrion still setting up. Um, I don't know what the exact trigger is, so I'm not going to give you a price, but uh, keep a close eye on this one. Uh, second up, uh, as you'd seen earlier in the week, I had some of those Dendrion calls that we were talking about, and um, I still have three of those uh, left. I had sold um, seven of them yesterday, but uh, I, I really like the way the stock's holding up here. It's, uh, it, it's holding these gains real well. These are all-time highs. There's still a decent-sized short position, and I believe it was about 9 million shares. Um, <clears throat> but the stock is, is again, it's holding up uh, really well here. If we take a look at the uh, the three-day volume weighted average price, you see that's what it's holding. So this is since that move began that we'd seen support at this volume weighted average price. So that tells me that's where a stop ought to go. First of all, um, taking care of the risk first is probably just below this level at about uh, $26.40. The way we want to purchase this stock, I think, let's take a look at a two-minute time frame just to get a little bit more detail. Um, I think that getting above this level right here, above $26.85, that we risk uh, down to $26.40. And of course, another situation where we'll want to ratchet that stop higher. But I think this stock, when this stock gets going and it's held these gains real well, it can really make some big moves. So um, I, I think 28 is is clearly doable, but uh, this stock can get going pretty crazy uh, so I don't want to give uh, too wildly bullish uh, of an upside target let's just focus on 28 or so for now but uh, again I think this stock has the potential to 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 go uh, significantly higher than that um, next up